Whenever I became too confident of my perfect Harvard education, my ex-father-in-law, concomitant, was there to deliver expiation. His timing was perfect. He'd watch and wait. He'd set me up, then he'd set me straight. <laughs> Let me describe this kind and gentle man. In profile, he was blessed with a perfect semicircular belly and no can. Perfect as a backlit window silhouette, a photo I still love and regret, a photo my ex-wife won't forget. A small piece of a small but sad divorce. He has passed on, but I miss the man. Comfortable with himself, steady, on course, leaning back with a scotch glass in his hand, I sell seeds and satisfy farmers' needs. Go to church, plant the garden, pull the weeds. Every Easter, the two of us would go outside and smoke illegal Cuban cigars. He'd get me to tell him what he should know. He'd always wait until I'd gone too far. He'd lean back, ah, hoist by your own petard, flick off his ash and say, Habit, schmabit. <laughs> They're all gone now, his wife, mine, and him. But still, up until the very end, I would package and carry up to him all my old Harvard magazines. <clears throat> and then he always put them there in the same place, next to the kindling and the fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> I drove up a month or so before he died. He so deeply missed his loving wife. The reconciliations I had tried had failed. Love was leaking out of his life. The door was unlocked. Sleeping in his chair with a Harvard magazine spread out there, heaving on his perfect snoring belly. What a perfect find was this. There was food in the ice box from the deli. I found whiskey in two glasses. I kissed him, and I asked, what's this you're reading, you fool? <laughs> With a cagey smile, it ain't that bad a school. Oh. <laughs>